for us have been mostly in the CJ. Thank you so very much. And you know, the length of time I've been in this band, uh, me and CJ had kind of a uh, comedic, humorous banner between each other, uh, both on and off stage. And I'd like to give you an example of that. I, I used to introduce CJ, and uh, this is how it kind of went. You know, I kind of went crazy with the uh, credits that I would give it. So this is how we go. Bear with me if you would. On lead vocals. Yeah. <laughs> Keyboards. Yeah. Guinness Stout. Yeah. Jameson's Irish Whiskey. Yeah. And the occasional temper tantrum, Mr. CJ oh, yeah. Snare. <laughs> and of course he would respond back like this. And on bass guitar, backing vocals, the man responsible for giving me those temper tantrums, Mr. Alan McKenzie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> this next song was a, a big hit in Southeast Asia. It was a hit here as well, a top 40 hit. But in Southeast Asia, and this one is, is an example of how CJ can work a crowd. Uh, we would play this song over there in uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, India, and it was a huge hit. Crowd knew all the words to it. And CJ would take the time and learn the languages of these countries. It was like having our own personal Rosetta Stone in the band. Wow. <laughs> so he would, uh, we would sing this song, and C would, CJ would work that crowd up by speaking in their language, and they would sing every word at the top of their lungs. You see, I'm shaking my head. I'm not used to this public speaking thing. I could never be a comedian. <laughs> but anyhow, it, that was a perfect example of how well he worked a crowd, and it was a, it was a wonderful thing to watch. So it, with that in mind, let's hear big and loud, all the way up to the heavens, how much we love him. Long to see you.